of Nigeria welcome back again to my channel if you're coming today for the first time hi my name is Linda and I'm a mom vlogger living here in Oka and Ambro state of Nigeria welcome back again today and thank you so much for clicking on today's video I really do appreciate God bless you so guys on today's own <laughs> I brought good news yes to every married woman or intended single lady trying to marry just like recently i started bringing in of course what i used to bring in here which is marriage talks you know encouragement and all and on today's video i'm here to encourage you all of us that are facing issues in our marriages and we are thinking of doing another thing like taking another step or taking another decision this video is for you please make sure to keep watching and i'll be right back welcome back guys you know how you're in a marriage and you face a lot of challenges from basically the marriage and a lot of people will be giving you advice calm down have children first calm down make babies first calm down it will be better calm down tomorrow will be better i'm here of course to share good news with you and tell you the reason why you should calm down if if you're married and you've not made babies you might not relate to this video but if you're married and you've had children into that marriage i trust me you're gonna relate okay i just want to come out here and share the things i noticed differently now that i will say i no longer feel like i have anything left in this marriage i have learned in this marriage and of course i have been able to fully answer that married woman being that i have mothered a boy and i have mothered a girl i've all had that experience of motherhood so i'm coming out here to of course tell you one thing i had noticed because prior in my marriage when things there are some issues that will arise and you see my senior ones telling me that i should relax there will be a time when all these things is not gonna be a problem just relax focus on making children first focus on having babies first because basically if you ask me i will say the only reason why marriage should be married in fact the only reason me myself will remain in marriage is to make babies the bible said we should go to the world and procreate obey the word of god that says we should of course a man find it a wife you know all those things basically in as much as marriage is very difficult trust me marriage is very difficult and i didn't understand it when they were telling me i should relax you know make family make babies that a time will come when i will understand and all that i am at that space where i think i now understand all these advices i'm going to break it down for you to understand basically so over the time i'll use myself as an example of course over the time when i have issues like i said earlier you will see people telling me i will not say people like family telling me to relax just focus on making babies don't worry everything will be fine this that that and this that that and finally i had made babies i'm relaxed i'm no longer having children i'm at that place where i want to be when it comes in the terms of marriage i'm that place where i want to be let's say for example you're in a marriage where there is no love your husband is that type that doesn't give you joy and then you've made children you've made babies trust me if you are a working class lady if you're earning money and you're able to cater for yourself cater for your needs the needs of your family you can be able to of course get yourself a gift when you want you can be able to of course have the finance to take yourself out have the finance to care for your family basically those things that you think a man should do for you and you work and you are able to do it for yourself while working and you're in marriage trust me divorce is not supposed to be for you yes divorce is not supposed to be to any woman who is a working class lady 
when you love yourself when you love yourself you will see that there is no love bigger than the love that you love yourself so if i'm expecting my husband for example to do this for me and to do that for me and he didn't do it i have the chance i have the opportunity and of course i have the money to do that particular thing for myself what else i will keep doing it for myself okay so if you are a working class lady you're in a marriage you're currently not earning anything and you think you're not happy in that marriage i think first thing you should do is try to be independent of your own first it's gonna of course make you feel at extent of comfortable and of course make you feel extent of joy in as much as money is not joy but there are still things that money can buy there are happinesses that money can buy joy without money of course now Chris but trust me when you still have the chances and opportunities to cater to your personal problems trust me that problem if it's, it is was weighing you down hundred percent it should be reduced to 70 percent so basically what I'm trying to say is if you're in a marriage and you're currently not doing anything for yourself you're solely depending on your husband and your husband is that type that doesn't give doesn't do anything first thing you should do before considering leaving that marriage is standing first on yourself to be able to love yourself first and if you're able to love yourself first and you think you can cope maybe you can consider to divorce but for now stand on your ground first okay this second point will of course be after you might have been comfortable as a woman as a wife you know how you'll be in marriage let's just say you're already working you have money but you don't have children okay remember this video is basically finding peace after making babies in marriage that peace you find after you're fully making babies as a wife as a married woman the peace that you get that is basically what i'm trying to tell you you know how you're already working as a working class lady you're earning money and then you don't have a baby of course that money you're earning ends on your family i mean your immediate family or your own family which is that marriage yes you find yourself sometimes helping your husband's people helping your husband as well at, in some cases or helping your family your money don't have a focus but when you finally make children make babies in marriage at least you have a place where you focused your money just like now that i had my sons i had opened an insurance for them where i deposit a so 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 amount every given month whether you're dying if you like which i must pay that money i don't know if you're getting me this way if anything happens in that marriage i will not come back and regret hey i wasted my money you i will be sure that all my money ended in my sons all my money of course i invested in my own body because my be my babies are my body these are people who will come back later to take care of me but growing up a child like nurturing a child is an investment that of course you're going to reap at the end of your life so when you're making money now that you're young and you're channeling everything to the growth the welfare and the future of your children you're of course investing for your future i don't know if you're getting what i mean but when you marry and you don't have children the money you're making one thing or the other might come and be taking out that money and you're not doing that long time investment on your children you see this marriage right there now since after i have had my children i'm focusing basically on them not that i can gift to my families my immediate families or my husband's family of course i will do but you can't compare the gifts i gift when i never had children and the gifts i give now that i have had children of course i will start from home as nana madam mission on apotero just like the Igbo says you start from home now let's bring in our husbands into it let's say for example you're marrying a man who doesn't bother who doesn't care that you're not holding hands that if tomorrow maybe long run you get a sickness or you're sick he can't stand for you you're sure that your children are standing for you when that time come you're sure those investment that you've made for your children is not going to be a waste so if you're in a marriage and you've had children and your husband is not somebody you think you can trust forever if you have children remain in that marriage no perfect man no perfect marriage i'm not that person that believes in divorce and i'm only not that person that believes that marriage is a do or die affair no as long as it is coming to a level where it might take my life i know the day okay but if it is just casual casual misunderstanding and all that 
and I'm full with my hands making my own money. Oga, go. I don't use you. Make children. Your spam. Don't form baby for me. Check it now. You don't do everything where you want to do for me. Check it now. What is that thing again? Pleasure, sex, or whatever. I can get it over and done with. Like, forget about it. Even if I feel I still need it. <laughs> Toy day. We could still do your job. I don't know if you're getting me. Uh -huh. But basically, what I'm trying to say is you feel so confident and comfortable when you get married and you finally make babies. There is this peace that you have of course like you're channeling a goal you're focusing somewhere that tomorrow this thing is going to yield me this but when you're in a marriage 20 years 25 years you've not made babies the truth is even if you're saving your money forever sickness might come one day and take out the money need more might come one day and take out the money but if you're married and you're having children and you're depositing those money into those children those monies So basically what I'm trying to say is if you're in a marriage right now and you've not made babies, you're not happy, you're not feeling it, relax. If you're making money, relax. Make babies first. At the time after you're done making babies, you will understand these things that I'm saying. Then if you're in a marriage currently and you're not doing anything, first thing first, start doing something okay then make babies if you've made babies and you're not doing anything start doing something babies is one thing that will make you feel comfortable in marriage money is another thing that will equally make you feel comfortable in marriage without any man let's just zero the side of the part of the man in a marriage like live your life comfortable you're married you're married be you that linda that i have been when i was single that is the, still the linda that i am now in as much as there are things i can't do just like cheating this that that but these are no these are basically things that don't give you everlasting joy to me i am satisfied to me i am at that place i want to be in life because i am channeling a goal i am channeling a place which is growth and the welfare the future of these children so basically i have seen reasons of being called a married woman i don't know if you're getting me yeah hopefully you are doing that okay now let's talk about those marriages that one day you will wake up and then your husband brings it another woman brings in another woman which is polygamy let's say for example yuri dochi okay now look at this woman now she had had children in her marriage that she had trained to an extent before the husband did this and of course she's not lazy she's a working class woman do you see the difference of not being shattered drastically when this man did this thing of course as a human being it's going to pain her but she will not die in it and it will not pain her to the extent of killing her because she had made future which is the children and she's equally a working class lady there is nothing you financially should give her that she can make herself and there is no future you should give her that god had not given her through those children i don't know if you get me so if you're a wife as well or a woman and you're venturing into marriage make sure number one you are stable on your own number two make sure you make children any marriage without no children i don't care how you do it if you can't have a baby by yourself adopt one channel your hustle to those children because strength no they no they be the same at some point our strength will fail us and when those strengths fail you you might touch here you're not touching your husband you touch here you're not touching family your children are the only person that you will leave to stand you when your strength fails you so anything marriage without you being comfortable on your own or without you having children you say no no for me she's broke she's broken in her heart but not totally shattered she recently opened an organization where of course because she had seen what it is for a man to behave the way her husband behaved she puts herself in the shoes of those women if like they did not have children and this man did this or if like they are not making money and this man did this oh my god you <coughs> you, you will just die 
So because of that, she decided to open an organization where she wants to empower those women that their husband does such thing. So the truth is, when you marry and you finally make babies, of course, you're having a standard. That joy that your husband can give you, trust me, one of your child will give you. There are so many times since after I've had my sons that I have misunderstanding with my husband. The way he pains me, those times that I didn't have them, is not the way he pains me now. Like when I look at my son's face, I don't forget to get a job in that. The truth, you know, so I the hide mouth. When I look at their face, it gives me joy. That joy that I think I needed from him, of course, I drive from my sons. This is basically it okay they are still tender they've not grown no. you can imagine when they have grown to the age of male's children like i'm sure that the son of course can sit her one day and tell her mom whatever you think that dad will do for you i will do it for you when your son gives you such word <laughs> if that man says they crazy they run mad they enter street it it will touch you as woman but it will not kill you i'm still bringing it back to saying if you marry make sure as a married woman you're standing on your feet and make sure you make children it mustn't be through you surrogacy ivf natural adoption but have children marriage without a baby is to me this is unpopular opinion okay say whatever you want to say but to me any marriage without children <laughs> it is useless i will use that word i'm sorry okay yeah so basically this is another point and i hope you take something from this particular point if you are into marriage and your husband is behaving you don't trust him you think one day he'll woke up and do rubbish <laughs> madam just stand in the bar focus on these children focus and be training them one day one day the man go old you too you go old he will still return back to need the help of those children you're probably going to be needing the help of those children i don't know if you get me so focus on your children make them to be what you want to be invest on them because you will reap children are just like landed properties that you will buy and as age comes of course it matures to the extent of course giving you more than you have put in that is children when you give birth and you put it into your children like i know the things i do for my mom today so i am a full definition of a child investment to my parents Finally, I just want to put this out here. This is common. I just want to take it finally. It is common. You know basically how you're in marriage and you look into the actions you put out. Let me use myself for example. I could remember these days that I was still waiting. There are times that my husband will provoke me. Like I really need to get angry with this action. But guys, I will die that anger because tomorrow I will end the relation. And I want the God to come and give me belly. <laughs> I will feel as if the thing he did did not prepare me. I will just be laughing. But that laugh was not coming out from my heart. I, because I needed him. I don't know what I don't know if you're getting me. I needed him to do his job by tomorrow for me to make babies. But do you know that when you finally have a child? <laughs> and okay for propel though, I don't need it anymore. I don't need if he make me angry now, I'll go first reach next 15 years because <laughs> this uh at the same with the dango at the same but uh, God, is no longer useful. It, I don't use that make pay with the most important thing. Eh? Or if he pay me pass, I took hand there. Uh, hand can do it. I must show my anger. That is what making children can do for you in marriage. I live in gin now. I take hot drinks and guys, it's working. I'm going to do a separate video for that. But I can remember those days when I'm still trying to get pregnant. If I want to take this drink, I'll be like, mm -mm. her guy will still be like, don't take this drink. Uh -uh, don't drink beer. Woman that wants to have children, they don't take beer. My mom will say, my mom-in-law will say, but when you marry and you have children, you will be at that comfortability of taking whatever you want to take. Anything takeable, boom. Now forget. I don't know if you get me. Yeah, you're not scared of your womb or anything making more babies mm -mm. once you marry and you make that children you are at that level you're equally at that level whereby you'll be like mm, i can relocate now and start living in canada and husband will be in nigeria i don't mind i don't need his sperm again to form babies i can live in canada for 10 years without seeing him but i can't do that when i was trying to conceive i can never live such life you see why when you marry First thing in your mind should be making babies. It will give you a level of peace. 
trust me when i say this all these things i finally like totally realized this after i'm at this particular stage i am in my life now yes focus on making babies i'm at that stage where if you make me angry anything will happen make it begin happen yes if you if i want to like, travel relocate you day your day I day my day anything if i want i drink yeah but whatever i want to do i do so basically i'm now living me life you know what i mean by living you life the only thing i'm doing now is focusing on the future of my children tell me that thing that will make me now not to enjoy my life anymore trust me if you're young you can decide to have fun within six to one year of marriage but let it not exceed one year the second year into your marriage start to make babies that is when you are you found yourself i wouldn't support anybody to enter into marriage doing nothing in these days and time mm -mm. to be frank mm -mm. i recently did a video with my niece where i shared in her channel that like i am now if i'm if 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 i quarrel with my husband and he decided not to shop for the month in the house maybe he wants to seize his money to use it to pepper me i will use my money and shop now food the way i go eat my children will eat i use my money and shop and i balance well and i eat it you equally even eat if you want to eat financially there is nothing i think you can do for me that i can't do for myself so first thing first find yourself before marriage then secondly focus on making babies there are peace that comes when you make babies in marriage and that is the peace i'm currently enjoying and this brings me to say if you're a ttc mother watching this video i pray with you today the lord will answer your prayers you will conceive and you will birth children in jesus name amen hopefully you learned one or two from this video thank you so much as i'll be ending it here don't forget to subscribe trust me to be bringing it hot hot for you this season guys omogo is over i'm done training my sons they don't grow for my eyes i don't know for you i'm free to do whatever i want to do now <laughs> don't mind me please share this video because this video a lot of women are out to watch this video thank you so much turn on your bell notification and stay tuned with me as i will see you when i put out another video don't forget i'm still your babe lily pops tv and i sign on bye